Anyway, this toy, uh, this toy is wonderful. It really is an excellent piece of work, which again suggests that it was not part of the movie line because that line, for the most part, is crap. There are one or two shining examples of wonderful toys, but they are very few and far between. This guy is wonderful. Really excellent, solid toy. I don't know if you can see on this camera, probably not, but there is all manner of detail sculpted into his hull and it's just gorgeous he's made of wonderful wonderful dense plastic and he's heavy he's heavy in the style of a generation one transformer and i like that there's a density to the plastic as well which turns my crank quite a lot i like good plastic on transformers and also in this mode he is armed to the teeth he has machine guns and grenade launchers and his primary cannon there if he has a fault it's not as a result of the design it's really as a result of safety protocols that um, all toys must abide by though and that is that some of these parts are made out of a very flimsy plastic which as you can see bend and warps uh, and that's a shame that's a great shame but it's nothing to do with the design of the toy also there's very little hint of the robot mode which is always, always a good thing. There is quite a lot. If you turn it upside down, you can definitely see bits of it there. But, considering that it's going to be on a flat surface most of the time, who gives a shit about that? It is a great toy. It's, I mean, it's a funny thing, actually. I've always questioned the tank mode for Bludgeon. It doesn't seem to fit at all with his character. And it's, it's a shame they didn't make him into something sleeker, like a jet or something like that. But, uh, it's a nice reference to the original toy. Which also turned into a tank. So, and it, it, as Transformer tanks go, it's very decent. Very, very decent indeed. It does have rubber tread. Well, its treads are partially rubber. They don't turn, unfortunately. These upper and lower parts are rubber. These parts are plastic. And that's rather nice. I always like to see rubber treads on a tank Transformer. Uh, it's not the best tank Transformer I've seen. That accolade still goes to Rampage. Uh, Beast Wars Rampage. His Transmetal 2 tank mode, which is superb. Then, on to his transformation, which I must make special note of because it's very, very successful. Indeed. Now, make no mistake when you're buying this toy. Fine as the tank mode is, adequate as it is, this is what you're buying it for. This mode is gorgeous. It's so well designed, aesthetically, uh, mechanically, every single way you can imagine. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous toy, particularly for long-term fans of the Transformers, because this thing is a huge fan wank. There is no other way of putting it. It is a huge um, and unambiguous treat for fans of Transformers. The manner in which elements of Bludgeon's original forms, both his robot and his pretender shell, have been incorporated into this for into this toy is wonderful. It's so clever. And what I love about it more than anything else is the way that the components of the tank, which would otherwise be kibble, such as these, have been made into bits of extraneous armour. Or add to the aesthetic, the samurai aesthetic. Such a, it's just beautiful they've even even reinvented the skeletal visage of the original pretender shell but rather than making it into a cartoony skull which is a little absurd i must admit what they've done is made it robotic but as if it's flayed as if it's damaged they removed the lower jaw and uh, you probably can't see it on this camera but there are mechanical components and pipes and things coming out of the bottom. It looks so good. It looks like what they've tried to make him look like, as if he's, he, as if he's damaged somehow, as if he's almost repaired himself from bits and pieces. He even has skeletal references here with all of this exposed mechanics. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love it. And, of course, 
at long last we have a bludgeon toy that's packaged with a sword and what a bloody sword it's huge not just one sword but two he has a smaller dagger style weapon as well i mean just wonderful this toy is essentially bludgeon it captures the character in ways that no other incarnation of him has before it even goes so far as to have a sort of skull motif in the armor here it's just great uh, in terms of articulation he's quite well articulated he is limited by these extraneous bits of armor and whatnot but that is, is a very very minor problem indeed they've even incorporated little parts where you can sheath the the blades the, the back of the tank actually opens up and in there you have um, a scabbard for the sword it's just brilliant brilliant design not a movie toy definitely definitely not a movie toy it doesn't put this next to your movie toys and it looks so wrong so very wrong and the if you're in any doubt of that it you those doubt should leave you when you transform it the transformation is not simple but it is intuitive it's a transformation that you don't need the instructions for you don't you don't need to reference the instructions for them it's complicated but you can figure it out and that is the mark of a good transformer for me not only that it's fun to do he's nice to have in the hand and you don't fear bits of him popping off or getting lost or whatever he's just fantastic and he turns my crank enormously It's just a shame that they're thinking of repainting it into Banzai Tron. I mean, that's not Banzai Tron. This mold, it's like, it's like, um, Universe Cyclonus. That mold is so iconic and so quintessentially that character that it cannot be successfully repainted. This is exactly the same. That is bludgeon. Doesn't matter how many, how extensively you repaint it, it's bludgeon. And besides which, we already have a perfectly good repaint of Banzai Tron. Okay. It's a BotCon exclusive and therefore difficult to get a hold of, but it's definitely it's much more iconically Banzai Tron than this. This is Bludgeon, and my God, if you have a chance to pick this guy up, then do so. He is stunningly good.